Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig living with her three children. Dear kids, not all grown up. You must stay working by yourself. I can always just stay with you. Mother gave them some money to travel to a faraway town to build their own houses. So the three little pigs left the mother's house together. On their way, they rested under a big pine tree at night. They started discussing their future plan. Now we got the chance to prove ourselves. Why don't we take a little super rapid for a walk? Yes, we can survive with our own strength. The third pig, who is wiser than the old other two, wasn't happy of the idea of separation. He knew that anyone can take advantage of his naive brothers. They'll get trouble. Brothers, I don't agree with you. Our unity is our strength, and we should not break our strength. You always try to preach. We know what to do and not to do. Yes, we're not mama's boys and we should do your speech. <laughs> okay, I agree. I have an idea which will help us all. We'll build our separate houses and live by ourselves. That's like my brother. That's final. Wait, wait, wait. I, I haven't finished yet. We'll build our houses nearby so in case any of any trouble, we can help each other. Yes, he's my brother. Okay, okay, I agree, but I don't think I will face any trouble. The next morning, they decided to build their places to build their own homes and love to collect material for construction. Building a house is strong will be economical and much easier to build. I can buy a cozy bed to sleep with the remaining money. So I approached the farmer. Farmer, farmer, I want to buy this straw to buy my new house. Of course, of course, you can buy it. Farmer sold straw to third pig. The first pig went happily to build his own home. The second pig went to the wood called the, the longest house. That house is made of sticks to be cooler and economical to build. For the remaining money, I guess buy some mattress to sleep. So he brought some sticks for the wood cut. Now I went to build his green house. But the third one who is wider than the others. Decided to build a strong house made of bricks. I would rather sleep on a mat. I would build a long lasting house for a secure future. So he went to the shop and bought some bricks and cement from the rabbit. By the end of the day, they gathered at the construction site. Started to build their houses. First pig built his house by morning. I put the house much faster than the other two. Now I have a key in the house and fix the rest. How could he build a house so fast? Why even I'll finish my house too. So he worked hard to complete his stick house by evening. Two brothers took less time to build their homes. The third pig didn't bother about it. He was still constructing the base of the house. In the morning, when the two brothers came, they had laughed at him. <laughs> what happened, brother? Is there any difficulty building this house? You should have consulted me before. I'm building the strongest house of all. It'll stay strong in all weathers. All disasters and throw out the years. You think we'll be we'll be build a weak house? You're just the strongest one. The third pig decided to ignore his brother's comments and focuses on his work. Brick by brick, within a week, he built the house. Days pass. It looks happily now. 
soon awoke, saw the three pigs, and decided to eat them. The wolf came to the first door and knocked. Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. Nope, not by the hair on my chin chin chin. Yeah. And I'll huff, puff, and blow your house in. I have the strongest house of all. Do whatever you want. Ha <laughs> ha. The wolf filled the lung full of air and blew air in the little pig's house. Everything just blew away. And the, with the blow, the pig rolled into the second pig's house. What happened? Why did you come rolling into my house? He hid himself under a table and tried to close the door. Close the door. There's a ferocious wolf that's about to eat me. He might come here to hunt us. What the? The second pig ran through the door and closed it tightly. He locked the door with all the locks. The wolf came in, started banging on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. <laughs> nope, nope, no, nope. not by the hair of my chin chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and blow your house down. <gasps> I have the strongest house of all. Try it out, you nasty wolf. Wolf filled a lung full of air and blew the air on the pig's house. Everything just blew away. Pigs realized there's no roof on the house or no walls on the sides. Both ran save, to save their lives and entered the third pig's house. What happened to you? And why are you so scared? The bad wolf was trying to eat just as Air, he might come here and blow your way to our house too. Let's go run back to mother. I even blow a brick into my house. I'll teach him a lesson. Let him come. My brothers, you hide in the shelf and don't come down. If he succeeds in coming and eating, two pigs climbed into the shelf. Soon the wolf came to the store and started banging, pushing the door. Run away, you ugly wolf! for my house ever. You don't know about my strength. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and blow your house in. I blew your brother's houses too. Then try your luck. You'll lose your breath, but you will not succeed. The wolf fell along full of air and blew the little pig's house. So the house stood still. He filled a bigger blow and tried that again, but not an owl came. And nor a single brick was moving. After some trials, he lost his breath. He fell to the ground. But the nasty wolf stood up again and took a long round to break into the door. The window pane and jumped down. All together, they pushed their backs to the door. The wolf came running in a full force and bang! The third pig slowly opened the door. He saw the wolf lie on the ground. Then he locked the door again. The wolf has fallen down. He failed to blow my house down. We have one been in the wolf down. If you didn't stop us, yes, brother, you saved our lives. But brothers, you he would have eaten me up if we both weren't here. Together, we blocked the door and he failed. Yes, brother, you prove me wrong. Unity is our real strength. Now we all live together, it never be apart. Suddenly, the wolf stood up again and started banging on the door. You nasty brothers, I'll eat you today, anyhow. He climbed into the roof and decided to enter through the chimney. He heard the sound of the footsteps and, and understands the wolf's trick. The third pig fired the fireplace with wood. The wolf was struggling to reach the chimney. Finally, he managed to enter in, and he slid into the burning fire. <laughs> All the three pig brothers lived together happily ever after. The end. Bye-bye!